Hello everyone, today my limited edition copy of Atelier Eska and Loki Plus came out today through the mail of course because I ordered it off of Nice America and you know I did start the game earlier today just to see how the menu is and there's a dressing room apparently which is pretty cool I mean I played around with it already hmm. I actually couldn't decide on what, what outfit for her to start off with probably the pi apple pirate <laughs> I already chose the hat. I enjoyed the hat, so I left it in that aspect. She started off with the what flower hat was it? No, it wasn't the fluffy hat. Hmm, how about none? None's fine. <laughs> I left her on with glasses. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna start the game. Oh! can choose. I didn't know that. Cool. I shall choose her. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I'll choose her. I'll do yes. my best. You better. Are the intros for both characters going to be different? I'm impressed. I've never played the PS3 version. The last Altarian, whatever, however you pronounce that title, game I played was, you know, Totori. And, you know, I love the art style and everything, I just didn't like the combat system. Hopefully this one's just a tiny bit different, and of course, you know, I ordered the retail copy since, you know, I, I hardly have any space, and have a 32 gig memory card. They should release a 120 gig, that would be nice, honestly. I like the music, it's really peaceful. One forty five. Good, I have time to play a bit. <gasps> a trophy for doing nothing. You haven't forgotten anything, have you, Eska? Stop no. worrying. I was super careful when I was packing. You push yourself too hard sometimes. That's not true. I'll be fine. Well, then, I'm off. I'm just concerned. I mean, you becoming a government official is just... Not bad at all. You worry too much. You treat me I like a like child, art. no matter how <laughs> old I get. Oh no! Look at the time! I can't be late on my first day. Is she talking to herself or to me? My name is Eska Malier. Hello. I'm Christian. I was born and raised on an apple orchard here in Tulsi, a small outpost town. I was born in Los Angeles. My mother taught me when I was really young. I'm only a beginner, though. I have no skills, apparently. <laughs> Still, nice now village. I'm the only person in town who can do any alchemy at all. I don't even know how to do that. So, maybe you could teach me. the town government in order to earn a little money. Cool. 
There's a fox over and there. And they decided to take me on as an official member of the civil service starting today. Good luck. I still have a lot to learn, but I'm gonna do my best for this town. Areska. Hello. I'm Christian. For Christian. Quinn. Miss Marion, I, I hope I'll be able to live up to your expectations. <laughs> Don't worry, just keep doing what you've been doing for us. Which is nothing. Just <coughs> kidding. Would you mind letting me do the speaking? We don't want the rules of order to break down out here. Of course. Grumon. Oh, uh, s sorry, branch manager Grumman. <laughs> now, oh, Grumman, there's no need to be too formal. You can keep calling me Colin. Or manager, if you need to. Y yes. Oh, thank you. Manager? Now, starting today, you'll be an official member of the Frontier Special Investigation Bureau. As you're aware, we're quite short-handed. Since you already know how we work, it'll be great having you here. I see. Well, I'm not sure if I've been all that helpful in the past, but... Don't be so modest. We brought you on board precisely because we feel you are necessary. And Christian, too. Thank you. But, Thank you very unlike much. before, you will have much more responsibility. I hope you're up to the task. Mm, we'll that see. said, now that you're an official for Colsate, we need you to put forth all your efforts for the town's sake. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, of course. Good. We're not too strict about divisions and assignments, so we'll end this meeting here. Marion? Understood. Shall we go, Eska? I'm sure you already know where R&D is, but I'll show you just in case. Yes. Well then, Mr. Manager, if you'll excuse me. I'm leaving too. Hmm. Well, hopefully this will solve our staffing problems at R&D. I'll leave the rest to Marion. Still, two alchemists. Yeah, he's talking about me now. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh... too much oh no welcome to the oh, R&D no. branch well I know you've already been here in the past since you've helped us before uh, 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 well you always seem so busy Marion I suppose you're right but you're not an outsider anymore you know so I'm really gonna start cracking the whip whoa yes ma'am where should I start about that, you're actually not the only new kid we have today. Yeah, you have me too. I'm really sorry, but would you mind waiting a bit until he arrives? He should be here any second. I'm already here. Uh, huh? H who? Hmm. That's so mean. They forgot about me. Excuse me, is this the R&D division? He has fox ears. Oh, there you are. We were waiting for you. How was it? I'm the research lead around here, Marion Quinn. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, Marion, who's this? Yeah, who like is he? Like I was saying, he's the other new member joining the R&D team. Now, why don't you introduce yourself, Eska? And Christian. Uh, 
<laughs> um, oh, I'm Escamail here. Eh. My name is Logix Fixario. I'm still not entirely sure how you Logics. do things here, so I hope you'll show me around. But it says Loggy there. Logix? Okay. Sure thing. Fixario. Um, I look forward to working with you, Mr. Logix. As do I. <laughs> oh, you kids. That was a stiff introduction. Relax a little. You'll be working together a lot. Y yes I suppose you're right. I'll do my best. S sorry. By the way, ma'am, where is the rest of the team? It's just us three There's here. Technically one more member, but because oh. of a mission, yeah, me, I'm afraid me. we're all we have today. I'm right here. Is that normal? This seems rather Unless I'm a ghost. Uh, small for a team. It is quite small. In fact, we shouldn't even be operating considering how short-handed we are. Now that you mention it, when I helped you out before, you didn't have many members either. Why is that? Truth is, R&D's always been understaffed and unable to operate, and that led to poor marks from above. When I was put in charge, the entire department was all but disbanded. So then, transferring you here really didn't solve any problems, did it? Absolutely nope. not. That father of mine. I'll give you a promotion, my foot. <laughs> he stuck me in middle management, so I have to do paperwork all day, and there's no such thing as overtime. It sounds like you've been through quite a bit. But all that ends today. Now I have two brilliant underlings. Three. And both of you are alchemists. Now nobody can tell me my R&D department's just a bunch of dropouts. Two logics? What a coincidence! There's so much about alchemy that I never learned. It would be amazing if you could teach me. I see. Well, I'll do my best, but I'm not sure that I know enough to teach others either. Still, it's uncommon to hire on two alchemists at the same time. I know, right? That's what I asked for on the application, but I never expected my request to come through. I... I see. So, that's what happened. At any rate, I'm gonna put the both of you right to work. You're gonna help me raise our ratings and make people realize that we're the best our division has to offer. I'll do my best. Understood. Eh. Right, Linka? Let me introduce you to Laji. He's one of the alchemists joining us today. I've heard about you. This is Linka. I suppose she would be your senior here. Oh, she's the one you said was out on a mission? They forgot about me. <laughs> that, or I'm just a ghost. And they can't see me ever again. Yes, oh, well. she has a lot of assignments to keep the monsters at bay. Just goodbye In now. In fact, your goodbye. next deployment's been decided. She might be a little rough around the edges, but she knows how to swing a sword. Feel free to ask her for help. It's good to meet you, Eska, Lodgy. Let's do our best, yeah? Uh, um, it's nice to meet you as well, Linka. All right. 
Well, time for your first job. Oh, but before that, Laji, you don't really know much about Colsey, right? Only what was in the file. I tried to find out as much as I could. Well, Eska grew up here, so she knows all about the town. If you're ever confused or lost, go and ask her. Got it. I'll do my best. So for your first job, we've got a request to fix the windmill down at the apple orchard. The windmill? Now that you mention it, I heard there were some problems with it. I've already sent someone for maintenance to figure out what's wrong. But I'd like the two of you to find out what's going on down there. Show Lodgy around town while you're at it. Show him around? Yes, I understand. I'll be fine. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your consideration. Don't mention it. You two'd better get to know each other, because you're going to be doing a lot of work together. If you ever have any questions, come find me or Linka. Huh? What do you mean, huh? It's our job as seniors to help teach the newcomers. Sorry, but with all the missions outside, I really don't know the town that well myself. Oh my goodness. Well, you make sure you're able to answer any questions these two might have. You got it? Got it. Understood. <laughs> well then, we'll be counting on you, Linka. I will do my best. You two never change, do you? But Linka does go out a lot. I'd love to hear more of her stories. Not bad. Well Not then, bad at all. shall we be going? Sure. Yes. But what should I show you first? <laughs> uh, um, Mr. Logix? Ah, uh, <laughs> you can just call me Logi. I'm not used to being addressed so formally. Okay, Logi, is there anything you would like to see? Hmm, well, I saw a large ranch on my way here. I was curious what that was. My parents' house is actually an orchard, too. Whole State has a lot of orchards. Our town specializes in producing apples, you know? And they're delicious. I see. Perhaps I should try one later. Hmm? If your parents run an orchard, why did you become a government worker? Would you inherit the farm? I thought about that, too, but since I can use alchemy, I thought I should be putting my skills to use. And I want to use my alchemy to help as many people as I can. And my father actually agreed. I see. That's a nice story. Y yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just a little nervous right now. <laughs> sorry, uh, so am I. I'm just not used to situations like these. How about we keep on going? Show me the way, Eska. You got it. Let's head over to one of the apple orchards. They're right on the outskirts of town. Does she jump? Oh, she does. Yay. We might have two three like that. <laughs> That's the only game I can compare it to since that's the only one of the other games I've played of this series. Can I turn the camera? I guess not. I'm sure I can. like the girl from Totori. Like, where's the entrance? Is this way? Yep. Just 
to the town entrance. Thanks, Eska. I know a lot more about the town now. Really? <laughs> Seriously? I didn't even check anything oh, out. It's nothing. <laughs> if there's anything else you want to know, feel free to ask me. I don't, I don't know anything about the town at all. Oh, that looks really pretty. <laughs> this is a beautiful tree. Is it an apple tree too? Yes. Supposedly, it's the oldest tree here. Actually, this is the area that my family manages. Hey, Eska, what are you doing here? This windmill's been having some issues, so I'm here to do a little checkup. Hmm? And you are. Nice to meet you. My name's Lodgy. I've been assigned to the R&D department starting today. Oh, the new kid from the city. Marion's told me about you. I'm Alwyn. Eska and I are cousins, actually. Oh, cousins. Okay. So when she called you brother just now. <laughs> We're really close. He's an engineer who knows just about everything there is to know about airships. I see. An engineer. Well, it's my pleasure. <laughs> Don't be so nervous. We're about the same age, aren't we? I... I see. Well, I guess... I'll work on that, Alwyn. Well, it's a pleasure for me, too. Don't be shy about asking questions around here, either. <laughs> Brother... You sure get to know people really fast, huh? <laughs> We're gonna be working together a lot. No need to be such strangers, right? I... I guess you have a point, but... Why do I feel like I'm lost here? Do you? Really? That's not like you. I hope you do a little better in your lessons. What mm -hmm. lessons? I haven't heard anything about that. It's nothing too difficult. Marion told me to show you kids the ropes. So I guess that makes me something like your instructor now. Start looking forward to it. You're an airship engineer, but you repair windmills and teach as well? That's cool. Well, engineering is just a part of what I do. In all honesty, I'm more of a jack of all trades. So, what exactly should we be doing? Um, yeah, about that. You think you can help me find someone named Clone? I need to check some things on that windmill. She just went and disappeared. Miss Clone? Um, does she work for the branch? It's clone. <laughs> clone manages the apple orchard, and she means a lot to me, too. I should really introduce you to her, Lodgy. Does looking for people count as our lessons? I wouldn't think so. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I guess it doesn't. Um, think of it more as a prerequisite to my class. Anyway. Marion will fill you in with the details. First, we should really find Clone. Got it. It's really strange for her to leave the orchard, though. Maybe she went shopping in the square. Alright, so... It's a big. It's a barrel! <laughs> That's all. Have those apples. Thank you. I'm guessing that's her. Correct? How much time do I have left? Okay. A few minutes. Oh, I was wrong. Never mind. I 
the apple house. Hello. It's my apples, not yours. Ah, now I want mac and cheese. The song just changed out of nowhere. Is that her? Hold on. Before talking to her, I need to check that spot. Um, I, I guess I can end it from here, because, you know, I gotta get back to work. How do I save? Unless I can't save. No. <laughs> uh, I think I'm supposed to go to the house in order for me to save, correct? That wasn't even her. What time is it? No, that's an armor spot. Quest. So this is... I'll go check the depot and check in with my boss. Okay, if we find Clone, we'll tell her to head over to the depot to meet you. Thanks. You know, for a town on the frontier, this place is actually quite developed. It has a proper depot. This is a stop for airships, after all. Merchants use this depot to transport their goods, too. Gotcha. So, this clone person, what's she like? Um, let's see. She's very... unique? And... I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll understand as soon as you meet her. But where could she be? Right under your foot. Hey, Eska, you running some errands? Duke. Oh, hello, Mr. Duke. Or Duke. It's actually Duke. <laughs> <laughs> what an energetic little scamp you are. Mr. Duke. I'd better step up my game, too. Mm -hmm. And who might this young fella be? H hello. I'm Lodgy. I'm working at the local branch starting today. You don't say. The name's Duke. I run a bar right over there. Hey, now that I see you up close, you're a handsome one, aren't you? I was a looker myself back what? in the day. I had a massive sword in one hand, taking down dragons left and right. Oh, the adventures and the ladies. <laughs> I... I see. Whoa there. Was I interrupting something? Interrupting? No, that's not true at all. Aren't you about to open up shop now? Something like that. <laughs> now... What brings you youngins to this part of town? Oh, right. Have you seen Clone anywhere? We're looking for her right now. Okay, I got five minutes. Clone? Can't say that I have. Is it urgent? I don't believe mm -hmm. it's an emergency, but any information you could tell us would help. Well, if you didn't find her at the orchard, then odds are she went to the depot to drop off her apples. Hmm, you're right. She doesn't necessarily have to be shopping there. Of course, I don't have any evidence one way or another. I hope you find her soon, though. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Duke. Sure thing. Say, after you've taken care of business, why not stop by for a quick drink? First one's on the house. That sounds great. We would love to. If Clonet went to the depot, then perhaps she already ran into Arwen. 
You have a point. Let's go find out. So, Eska works for the town now, huh? Feels like only yesterday she was just a child. Now look at her. Alright, well, I'll end things here for now, since I have to get back to work. So, I'll continue playing later on tonight. So, goodbye!